Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my recipe for avocado toast. Uh, this was something that I was making like almost every single day not too long ago. I haven't made it as often lately, but it's still a really good snack. I don't wanna call it a healthy snack because the health police will come after me and tell me like what's not healthy about it, like the oil or the bread. But this is my version of like a not crappy snack. I would reach for this instead of like hot Cheetos. It's delicious, it's healthy. Um, so this is a really good recipe, super simple ingredients. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first step for making avocado toast is the toast, okay? So you're gonna need some bread and nobody, I'm telling you, nobody on this planet loves bread more than I do. I love bread so much. One of my favorite things about going, like eating avocado toast out is it comes on like the thick, crusty, like really good artesian bread. But I don't do that at home. I minimize the bread a little bit more. And my favorite kind to use is the Dave's Killer Bread. And this is the thin sliced one. I like this one because the bread's a little bit thinner and it's just a little bit smaller in general. And this one is the good seed bread. So it's like covered in seeds. I just feel like it's more flavorful. The, the wheat, whole grains, seeds, you know, keywords. You could use it on other bread breads, but I like to use this one. It's easy and it fits in my toaster. So that's my favorite one to use. So now we're gonna go ahead and put it in the toaster. I like to do a very light toast on my bread, but if you like it really, really crunchy, feel free to toast it a little bit more. We are gonna put it in the oven after this. So I just get a light toast on my bread and now we're gonna add the ingredients. And the first one is obviously gonna be ripe avocado. I like to put about a half of an avocado for one piece of bread. No shade of the avocado. It's not quite ripe enough yet. It's okay. We're gonna show it. Who's boss? And then I usually make two pieces, one for me, one for Johnny. So a whole avocado. And then I slice up some radishes. Slice the radishes nice and thin and layer them on top of the avocado and then some little tomatoes. These are the yellow ones. I really like the yellow ones. I feel like they have a lot of flavor. Cut the tomatoes in half and put those on top of the radishes. And then to add a little bit more flavor, I like to add some of my favorite nuts. These are the pine nuts, and you just sprinkle some of these on top, and they taste really, really good when they're toasted. So we're gonna toast it after this. But before we do that, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, some pepper, and then a little drizzle of olive oil. So once we have everything on the toast, we're gonna put it on a cookie sheet and then put it in the oven under the broiler. This will just help to make it nice and warm, like the avocado will be nice and warm, and then also it'll put a nice toast on the nuts. I like to put it on low broil in the oven for a few minutes. You gotta make sure you watch it, because you get real caught up if you walk away. Don't walk away, watch it in the oven, make sure it gets nice and toasty, but not too toasty. And then once you take it out of the oven, it's ready to go. Crunch time, Crunch time. avocado toast time. All right, so here's the finished product. This is the only like platter type thing I own. It smells so good, it's so hard for me to not eat it right now. But this is the finished product of the avocado toast. I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys decide to try it out and make it at home, make sure you let me know because you know I love to know these things. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. You wanna eat it? Can I eat it yet? Mm-hmm. Hey, 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 hey. This dick. How much shade do we want to throw? Cooking with Katie? No. Why? Oh!